Hey you guys, what is up? It is Carl playing with Plugins Networking and today we got a pretty cool video for you guys. We're going to be showing you guys how to set up your own media server at home. For those of you that have been subscribed to my channel for a while now, uh, now you know that I use Kodi in my home. But that's not to say I don't also use Plex. I do use Plex just because it is uh, able to be installed on some of my devices without having, having to hook up a computer to that device. For example, my TV. So it saves me some money on my power bill because I don't have to go buy another computer and install Kodi on. And it's just, it, personally, it just simplifies it a little bit to me, in my opinion. So what we're going to be doing today is showing you guys how to set up a Plex media server. Now to do this, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to www.plex.tv.com. This is the website right here. Once you get here, just simply click Get Plex for free. Once you click on this, it should take you to a page to sign in. Now you can either create an account or you can sign in if you have one. I've already, uh, I already have one, and I actually, actually already have this downloaded, so I'm not going to do this on the video, mainly because it's just kind of. I feel like it's kind of a security risk for me to type my email and my password in online, and I don't really want anybody getting access to this but me and you know the people I've given permission to. So, mine is going to be in my server's database. As you can see, I have Plex Media Server right here. So, I'm just going to open this one and minimize both these. Okay, we're going to click Run. And we're going to click Install. Once you get this user account control th window, you're going to want to click Yes. And then just wait for it to install. Okay, it has finished installing, so now we're just going to simply click Launch. Oh, actually, it already automatically opened in Chrome. So once you have installed it, you're going to want to go to localhost. And then type in 32400 slash web slash index if it does not open automatically. You're going to want to agree to the Plex Terms and Services. You can scroll down and read this if you want to. And then you're going to want to sign in. Okay, you guys, and that is all for today. As you can see, it's asking us to subscribe to our Plex Pass. Don't worry, you don't need to do this. Plex is free, but you can pay for the monthly pass if you'd like. I personally don't. I see no reason to. I uh, but again it's up to you guys and uh, yeah you guys don't forget to give the video a thumbs up if you like the video don't forget to comment below also share with your friends and also feel free to check out our website Twitter and our Facebook page until the next time you guys that's all for today peace out <laughs>